Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler from Melda Production, and today I just thought I'd tell you about a little update that happened to M Sound Factory, and actually to all the other plugins in the uh, <laughs> Melda family, but the one I want to talk about today is M Sound Factory. And so you see here it says 14.08. This is the latest update, and it added a few things. One of the first things you'll probably notice here is it says download and install instruments. So if we click that, what we'll find is a new screen, and this just allows you to download everything easily and quickly. You don't have to go to the Melda website. You don't have to mess around with anything. And I believe it even tells you if you don't have everything installed. So if you're wondering, like, hey, do I have like the latest stuff? Just look in here, and you can download it uh, quickly and easily. And you can even set the download uh, area or the path where you want the samples or the uh, drums to go. So there's that. That's really good. The next thing I want to talk about is the biggest thing, and that has to do with devices. First, I should probably go over the difference between devices and presets, because I think some people don't really understand, but now I think it's more clear to everyone. So a preset is what you see up here. So next to M, uh, Sound Factory, it says default. And if I just click here and I open any one of these, like FM. Now you can see there's different uh, presets here and you hear like, oh, these sound different. One thing you'll notice is like, hey, well, how, how do I change it? And that's what you need this edit screen for. So you have to go in here and you see like, oh, okay, here's like the oscillator. I can adjust it here. I can go in the effects and change the effects and adjust it there. But here on this screen, it's like, hey, there's nothing there. And why is that? It's because it's just a preset. And so this is where the normal presets are. Uh, if you have the full version, you can go in here and adjust it manually, but unless you know what's happening with it, sometimes it's a little bit difficult. So like this church organ is fairly easy. It's you know, like, not much there, but uh, let me see if I can find a more involved one like this or this. I see this, you might not understand like, how do I change this if I think I play if I play like that and it's like, okay, I want this to be a little bit longer, you m might take you a while going through this and like, oh, maybe I need to go into the envelope here to figure this out. And so sometimes that's fine, but sometimes you don't want to waste your time with that. You wish you could just change it easily. And that's where devices come in because devices have that all set out for you and has a bunch of easy controls that should be uh, intuitive for you to figure out. And one of the best things that's come to these is the fact that now they have custom GUIs. So I'll show you here. So this is a device. So here's one I made for 808s. Okay, that's just the default. It doesn't sound so great. But you get the idea. And here you see it has its own custom GUI, and then you can adjust things like the attack, the decay, the sustain, release, etc. And so you can do all that, and it has its own effects in here. And so not only is it just one thing you can kind of mess around with here and change different parameters, but also it has its own presets. So before we're using the global presets up here, but now under 808 Maker, if you look, it says instrument presets, or this should be like instrument or device presets. You see this has its own presets. So if I go like to drums, like acoustic kick drum, or hard EDM kick classic 808 kick. So you see, we have those presets. So all this, all it does is it's just changing these knobs. If you can see this, you see different parameters are being changed around. And so there's been quite a few of these added, like here, black hole. Uh, this is one I showed you before, e-bass. See, it looks a lot better. I actually have an electric bass in the background. Uh, here's one I made before, Reese bass, like this. And now all these have beautiful, you know, backgrounds. There's still a few here, like FM bells. There's not too much under brass. There's some for drums here, uh, etc. And now most of them have these custom GUIs in here. And so, to me, these just look much better. It's like, oh, these are much easier to look at. And I think the concept is easier to understand. All of these should have their own presets here. 
So you can mess with those. And you can even save these yourself. So if you come up with something here and like, ah, oh, I like that, you can save it for later. And I believe you can also submit these or download presets online. So you can share these online if you find something in one of the devices that you really like and you want to share it with the world. You can feel free to do that. Uh, there's some other things in here. Lots of the stuff I showed is synth sounds, but they have this, like the clap of wind here. Let me see if I can find something. I'm actually not too familiar with this. Um, here's one I made, uh, electric piano. And it has a bunch of presets in here. Uh, let me see, another one I made, FMEP. Uh, they have, of course, this Monastery Grand, which I think I showed before. I used this in a song, actually. And this one is a sampled piano. My computer's running a little bit slow. You have to bear with me here. So here you see it, and it's a, just a grand piano. So that comes with it. And there's some other things too, like this organ. I really like this one. Draw bar, draw bar organ. And then there's a bunch of other interesting things here. Like I did some stuff with the pads, uh, crystal pad. I like that one. Somebody did this and put a nice GUI on my, on my device for me. Whoever did that, thank you. It looks nice. Uh, same thing here. They did that to the harmonic animation I made. And now it looks even better. And so to me, this looks great. I really like this. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. And one thing you might notice is like, hey, down here for the movement, like, what do these two do? If you ever find that and you're thinking like, ah, I kind of want that original GUI, or you think, for example, like, there's no help here. What you can do is just turn enable custom GUI off and you get the original one. So you think, ah, oh, that's even an odd movement. What is that? And then just click here and it says, ah, oh, odd harmonic movement controls how much the volume of the odd harmonic will modulate randomly. Okay, so now that you know what it is, just go back in here and then, oh, okay. Now I understand what this does. And so you can use that and, you know, that's that. Um, not sure there's too many other things in here. You can actually make all of these yourself. And in the future, I will show you how to do these. I know somebody asked me to show a lots of the new devices. And I'll try to, I try to show a few here. But... One, I probably don't have time in this video. I kind of want to make it short to show all of them. And two, I don't even remember which ones are new or not. I recommend checking it out yourself. So you can definitely check that out and see which ones uh, you haven't seen yourself. And also check out all the presets in there. Lots of them have quite a few in there. So, you know, it's shaping up really nicely. And if you're wondering uh, more about this, check out the Melda Production website. There's three versions of M Sound Factory. There's the full version, which is what I'm showing you here. I'm not sure if I download the other versions, but this full version allows you to use all of these devices. Plus you can go into the edit screen. So if I wanted to change these and edit it yourself, you could do that. Or you can make your own devices with the full version. They have the LE version, and that's the cut down version. And you'll be able to use all of these devices here. And I think you can also use the presets, but you don't have the edit screen. So you can't make your own devices, although you can make presets for the devices that are already made, but you can't make your own device. And you can't go in here and mess around with the generator. So you won't be able to create your own sounds from scratch using the oscillators and things. So if you're not really a sound designer, that's a good deal. But if you are, you might want the full version. And then there's the smallest version, which is M Sound Factory LE, or was it M Sound Factory Player? And that's a free version. And that will allow you to uh, use third party devices and presets. So if you, if I decided to make uh, some devices, maybe I would sell them to you. And then you could just load them up in the M Sound Factory Player without having to buy anything. Well, maybe you'd have to buy the devices from me, but besides that, you wouldn't have to buy anything and you can just use those if you just need like, oh, one or two things that sound interesting. So that's how that works. So if you want to know more about this, let me know. I'll try to do a video in the future on how you can make your own custom GUIs if you're interested in that. And also if you want me to do some 
uh, devices, you're requesting some, please let me know and I'll try to do some, maybe. <laughs> I'm not making any promises. But I made a few to fill them out because I noticed like in the lead here, I was like, ah, there's not so many lead presets, so I made this lead maker here. With a bunch of presets that suited me. That's what I made, and I made another one for plucks and things. So if you want more and you request, like, hey, can you make this and make a device like this? I, No promises, but I might do it. So anyways, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and check out all the other plugins at melderproduction.com. Till next time, see you.